In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, building with VRTK for the Oculus Quest uh, virtual reality platform uh, using Unity 2019.3. So as of today, it's the most recent version of Unity. Uh, it's the most recent version of everything we're actually going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at uh, VRTK4 uh, and uh, the latest uh, Oculus integration package off the Asset Store, which I think is 1.4. It's the one that lets you... Um, uh, do the hand tracking thing, um, but that's a different video. So VRTK, um, used to be you got it off of GitHub or you got it off the Asset Store. Uh, now it's part of, it's a package that you can get through the package manager. Um, if you don't use the the uh, project that they have on GitHub, so like if we go to, um, here's the uh, VRTK repository on GitHub, you can download this um, the zip of this repository if you don't have GitHub desktop, or you can just clone it if you do. And this is a complete Unity package, uh, Unity project. It's configured. the The project settings and the packages are already configured to um, work with um, VRTK. If you don't go this route, um, you can just create a, a blank uh, project, and you can still manually add the um, the packages to the uh, package manager. But you have to be comfortable editing the uh, the JSON file. Um, so that it shows up in the package manager window. Or you could just use this project. Um, this is probably the simplest way to go because it is just a blank project with one sample scene. Uh, there's not a whole lot to it, but it does have all the rest of the stuff configured nicely for you. The other thing that you want to make sure you have um, configured correctly is Unity itself. You want to make sure that um, you have all the right modules installed for the right kind of support that you need. So you can click on the install, you can go to add modules and take a look and see what you have. <clears throat> you want to make sure that you have the Android uh, SDK and NDK tools and the OpenJDK installed. You also want to make sure that you have uh, Windows build support with IL2CPP installed as well. Um, you're going to run into something that needs the burst compiler or the job system sometime with 2018.3, so you might as well grab it. And having Unity handle the install of all the Android tools and the Android SDK uh, really simplifies a lot of things unless you're a dedicated Android developer from time to time and have need of the full Android studio. Um, you let Unity handle it, and you no longer have to install all that other stuff. It's really nice. So if you've got that installed and you've got the... Um, You've got the VRTK master um, downloaded, and this is the thing that we just got off GitHub. We just unzip this folder, and we look inside the folder, we see that there's um, an entire Unity project set up in there, and we want to use the entire project <coughs> with this version. Just unzip that to uh, wherever you want to um, set up your project, and then in... Um, Unity Hub, I've already got it added here, but if you don't already see it on this list, you can go Add and then uh, navigate right to it and add it to um, add it right to the uh, the hub. And that's what I've got over here open. So this is 2019.3 is the uh, new user interface, um, new layout, new icons, new drop downs. The, the whole interface, the whole interface has gotten a, a big facelift. Let's look at the uh, package manager first and we can see what's installed with um, well you want to see the packages there in the project. So what we've got here we've got um, the Oculus XR plugin, which we actually don't have to install. We've got uh, XR management, uh, XR legacy input helpers, and the VRTK pre prefabs. These all come pre-installed with the um, with this project. Now, when I got it, the project version for some of this stuff was, say, the VRTK prefabs was 1.1.8 or 7, right? And I updated it to one point to the latest version. And you can do that through this interface. That's fine. 
if you're starting this project from scratch and you don't have um, the uh, these these items these projects in your in your project folder, then um, you can look at the GitHub and there's um, instructions on how to change the JSON file so that these things show up and you can include them into your project. If we go over to project settings, um, a lot of it is uh, just like you would build, just like you would set it up for uh, building for the Oculus. So now I've got my blank scene, and I've got my um, I've got my uh, VRTK prefabs project or package. I mean. And inside that VRTK prefabs package, I see uh, folders for camera rigs, um, helpers, interactions, locomotion pointers, shared resources, that sorts of stuff. Um, but what we're going to need out of this is the tracked alias. And we're going to drag that up and drop it in the hierarchy of our scene. Uh, this tracked alias is one of the things that handles the linkage between the um, um, the XR plugin provided by Oculus and the input system using uh, that Unity uses. So I get my tracked alias in here, and then I'm going to come up here and in my assets folder under Oculus. Um, VR prefabs. I have my OVR camera rig. And while I've got that OVR camera rig, I want to expand that. And then I'll just drop one of these OVR controllers, one on my left hand, one on the right hand, and the left hand one I'll configure to use the left track remote. Okay. Um, Let's make sure that my camera rig is set up for Quest. Input controllers only. Tracking origin type will go floor level because we want to set this up for a room scale environment. Over here in our tracked atlas, we have a number, we have um, a camera rig. Oh, before we get here, over in our OVR camera rig. I want to add a component to this, and it's called the Linked Alias Association Collection. All right. Now I need to wire this up into my camera rig. So it's looking for our play area, which our play area is the camera rig itself. And then the headset is going to be our center eye anchor for the headset. And the headset camera is also the center eye anchor. And then the left controllers, I'm going to go with the left hand avatar, or left hand anchor, the A words. And then the right controller goes to the right hand anchor. Okay, so my linked alias is wired up with my OVR camera rig. My tracked alias uh, still has zero elements in it, so we'll add one to it. And We'll drag our OVR camera rig onto it, and there we go. Now, as simple as this is, I think this is ready. I'm just going to give myself a little cube, drop it down just a hair. So I've got something to stand on. Just so I have some things to look at. All right, good enough. We'll go to build settings. Build settings, you want to make sure your texture compression is set to ASTC. Um, I'm going to add the open scene here and remove that other scene. Um, everything else is good. Uh, if you've got your quest connected, to your PC, you can hit build and run. Um, for purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to build and
create an APK. And this could take quite a while to do that too. So while this thing is building, I want to talk about SideQuest. Now if you haven't had a chance to check out SideQuest yet, um, you really should look at it. It's a um, open source indie development uh, distribution platform. Uh, it's got its own sort of storefront. You can um, install games. Uh, almost all of them are open source or free or in some stage of development. Um, but it's completely separate from the, uh, the Oculus Store. Uh, so it's, it's very much a democratized platform. Anybody that wants to, oh, I've got a little thing, a tech demo or something I'm playing around with, put it up there, share it. And you can also use it to control your quest. So I can connect wirelessly to my quest. I can look at the, um, the apps that are installed on my quest, and I can uh, uninstall or install whatever I want from here. I can back up files. Uh, if I wanted to add uh, custom mods to uh, something like Beat Saber, that's, this is how you would do it. Um, it's, uh, it's a very, very powerful tool, and uh, we use it a lot around here for uh, helping us out in deploying and testing. One of the cool things that you can do with it, so I've got my Quest hooked up to it now, I can enable wireless mode and connect to my Quest wirelessly, and then I can disconnect the USB cable And my Quest is now connected wirelessly to um, SideQuest here. And I can still deploy apps to it across this network. And I can stream stream live to my, uh, to my Quest. And it can't create my Guardian, but it sees my controllers. Um, Yeah, it's a very convenient little tool. Okay, so my APK is done building, um, and I have it in a folder by itself. And here's SideQuest connected wirelessly to my Quest. And I drag the APK over, and I drop it on SideQuest, and it deploys. Um, And then I'll go ahead and start streaming. And one controller, the other controller. Um, third party or APKs, well, you probably already know, they're under unknown sources. And of course, to do any of this, you have to put your headset in developer mode. made with unity I'm just gonna stand up for this and here we go there's my controllers there's some blocks I've got my environment it took longer to build than it did to put the whole thing together all right so let's take a look at something just a little bit more elaborate. If I come back over to this project and I'll, I'll save this scene. Um, with the VRTK Master, you got this folder called Samples, and inside of that is this little farm scene, and we can open this up. And in this, they provide uh, all sorts of different things grabbables, teleportation. It's, it's a complete little VR thing. Now, as it is right now, it's only generically configured. It will actually run. You could build this and run it in your Oculus Quest as it is right now. Um, it may not work the best, it may not look the best, but it, um, it will work with the uh, Oculus Quest the way it's configured. But if I want to um, 
really take it and start working with it and doing anything serious with it, I need to add the Oculus camera rig to this. Now, if I look under the setup, I see the VRTK setup, and there's a, a game object for camera rigs. And there's a Unity XR camera rig, a simulated camera rig, and a camera rig switcher, which is uh, nice to have. And then the OVR camera rig, which um, I've already added my OVR camera rig. So just like in the other example, you would get that out of the uh, Oculus VR prefabs folder. All right, so you just drag your camera rig out of that, and then under that camera rig, in my tracking space, I have um, the OVR controller prefab attached to that. And then you have to add the linked alias uh, association collection script, and then you have to wire those things into it. Then... Um, on my tracked alias, I make sure that I have um, my OVR camera rig in this list of elements that it has there. It could be the only one, or in this setup, it could actually work with several of them. Uh, I could have Steam VR in there. I could have um, the Unity XR camera rig, which is the sort of generic all-purpose camera rig, um, which, and that may be good enough for some things. And that's really all I have to have to um, to get this to to get this to work. Once I have my OVR camera rig sort of wrapped around, or VRTK sort of wrapped around my OVR camera rig by setting up these aliases, then um, it's just going to start working for me. So I've added my um, Oculus camera rig to. Um, uh, the tracked aliases in the VRTK example scene, and I've got it built, and I've got it deployed to the Quest, and I'm getting ready to try it out. So. Go ahead and leash myself in. And we can see that I left the uh, VRTK, or those, the uh, Unity XR uh, controllers, the little blocks. I left those on. Uh, probably should have turned those off. Uh, I've got capacitance uh, joysticks that allow me to teleport. And I control the direction that I'm teleporting. And there's all sorts of uh, neat little interactables. Uh, I've got a garage I can open. Over here is a, uh, a shotgun. I can, God, I can shoot confetti into the air. And there's also a little confetti pistol. All this interaction, uh, the teleportation, the locomotion, uh, that's provided by VRTK. There's, uh, I can't quite reach it. <laughs> I don't want to knock anything off my desk. Well, there's all sorts of stuff to play with. There's ladders you can climb, things you can move around, buttons you can switch. And it's just an example of um, interactive, grabbable um, objects, locomotion, scene interaction. Basically, VRTK is uh, filling the, um, the void between the XR plug-in and your game, doing the heavy lifting of... Uh, handling the the input and the interaction well so that's uh, basically how you get vrtk4 installed with the oculus integration on the latest version of unity uh, remember you want to use the new xr plugin management uh, you may be tempted to install other packages like oculus desktop or oculus android you don't need those anymore uh, in fact if you install both of those um, with your um, um, the XR plugin, uh, it'll probably generate a lot of errors or tell you to pick one or something. So, good luck with it. Let me know how it works for you.